Practical Criticism, A Study of Literary Judgment. This is written by I.A. Richards and uh, Richards belongs to 1893 to 1979 uh, and he, uh, he was born in England. His pen name is Richie and he developed a new way of reading poetry. And he is an English educator, literary critic, literary critic, rhetorician and a father of new criticism. He has a close reading of literature and he was influenced by the reader response criticism. And he is the exponent of practical criticism also and this is a literary criticism work and it, it, is a, it belongs to the new criticism and it has been published in 1929. The new criticism word was coined by ransom on 1941 and uh, the practical criticism and the principles of literary criticism were the companion work where practical criticism published in 1929 and uh, uh, principles of literary criticism has been published in uh, 1924 practical criticism developed the close reading skills and this is a method of increasing readers analytic power and it is an experiment done by uh, I. Richards in Cambridge School. And he gave, uh, through this experiment, the, the such poems were given to students without the name of the author and other details of the poetry to judge or to criticize. And it increased uh, the poetic inclusions and, and, uh, and it enables the student to comment freely. And uh, it has been the writer's response has been mentioned as the protocols. And a uh, few exponents of a new criticism were the chief uh, figures in practical criticism in Cambridge in 1920 were Ransom, I.A. Richards, William Empson, Winter, F.R. Lewis, Richard Warren, Brooks, William Salt, Bridgesley, and T.S. Eliot. Practical criticism analyzes, uh, it is an analysis and experiment, and what received from the student is called organized response. And Richards in, uh, influenced the student uh, William Empson. And uh, William Empson is uh, one of the students of Richard. And his uh, thesis, uh, UG thesis was the, the seventh type of ambiguity. It is published in 1930. It is also included in our syllabus. Coming to the new criticism, this is a little attention. It gives little attention to the historical settings. And literature, it takes literature as the sphere of its own. And practical criticism is a poem in which the poetry exists only on the reader. It depicts that poetry exists only depends on the reader. And it organizes our attitude and it has it has a clue it depicts only the close study of the text very much. And he says the four appendix and the two appendix and the first two appendix were the poetic language and interpretation and the next two appendix were the identification of 13 poems and the poems without its identity. The 13 poems mentioned in this work were Philip Bar I have mentioned all the author's name in the green ink and the work in the blue ink. The first one is Fitchers written by Philip Bailey and Spring Quiet written by Christina Rossetti, Dan Jones Holy Sonnet 7 and uh, Kenneth's More Rough Rhymes of uh, Pandry and Miller's The Harp Weaver, G.M. Hopkins' Spring and Fall of uh, the Young Child and uh, J.D. Flew's The Temple, D.H. Lawrence Piano, Alfred Noyes' for the 18th birthday of George Meredith, G. H. Lewis' untitled poem, Thomas Hardy's George Meredith, Wilfred Rowland Child's Ivory Palace, and Henry Longfellow's The Churchyard of the Cambridge. And in this, uh, he talked about the four kinds of meaning, which were the sense, feeling, and intention. It has been asked in many exams, so please do mention of this. And that were the sense, feeling, tone, and intention. And the two kind of the belief and the disbeliefs are mentioned here. The intellectual beliefs were the doctrine of preoccupations, and the emotional beliefs were related to the state of mind.